Whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah. So to this day, I never played a full game of Chainmail as, as it was published. I played in the playtesting, obviously, because they were my rules. But uh, by the time the rules were printed, I had sold off my collection to Gary. So he had the figures all the time. And down in Rockford, we didn't have any more of the medieval ancient types. So it was several years later, the other rule sets had come along that were, I don't know, more modern, more trendy. So I passed it by. It didn't pass me by. Okay. So are you still wargaming? Oh, hell yes. Okay. Uh, one rule set or multiple rule sets? Depends on the period. A lot of stuff I, I scribble myself. Others, are there... I, Rank and file, black powder, the, the trendy stuff. So, and I go on, on the computer every day on the miniatures page and read all the boards as far as who's doing what. So I, I keep pretty pretty current with the hobby. Okay, cool. Uh, has it surprised you how Chainmail's kind of getting a little revival lately? People? Yes, it has. Sur yeah, and Cavaliers and Rounders. Too. Oh yes. Uh, it just uh, blows my mind because it, it lay dormant for so long. And yes, I was very, very surprised and pleasure and pleasurable too. Royalties? No royalties. No royalties. I don't own it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess the notoriety, the uh, satisfaction that somebody likes something that you did. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Okay. Of course, the royalties would be nice. Yes, that would, yeah. I hear you there. Okay. If, but it's not in print, so there are no right. royalties. Right, right, right. Okay. All right.